I was invited along last week to help out on set for a video with a guitarist who's just about to release a new track. My mate Josh was running the shoot and he brought me in to basically help out with kit, setup and lighting. So I figured I'd try and give a bit of a window into how we do these kind of videos. This was in central London, so it's always a bit of a mission to get all the equipment on site, but thankfully this location had some parking right outside, so we unloaded, took all the kit in, and started to figure out a plan. We're not shooting a music video, this is more of a guitar playthrough video, so it's for people to watch and get an idea of how to play the guitar part for the track. It's basically going to be a high detail performance of the song so we want it to look as nice as we can get it. The studio was a bit smaller than we expected, so we decided to put Phil, the guitarist, right in the middle of the space, shooting into the corner to give some depth to the background, and then we could just dump all of our kit on the other side, out of the way. The idea was to go for a pretty moody look and then fill the background with a nice color wash, so half blue and half orangey red. And this is the space with just the ceiling lights on, so not amazing, which is why we always start by killing the lights and building from there. So we added in a backlight, a key light on the left, a fill light from the right, and then the two RGB tubes on the back wall. And for the tubes, we used two of the Nanlite Pavo tubes, the four foot ones raised up on C stands. For the last few years, I've mainly just used normal light stands, but I bought a couple of C stands, added them to my kit this year, and it's just made it so much easier to be a bit more creative with where we can put lights. The main key light was an Aperture 300D Mark II with a light dome on the front. And we had this at about 50% but kept it swung pretty far around to the side to stop it from spilling onto the back wall. So we needed to get a fill light on the other side just to fill in the shadows a little bit. We kept it really soft and subtle by bouncing an Aperture 100D with a mini dome straight into the wall and just using the reflected light as the fill light. The backlight was a 300X without anything on it, just a naked light, turned down to a bit of a warmer white. I usually like the warm white look for a backlight, just to give a bit of color contrast, a bit of separation from all the lights coming from the front. And so this was the main angle for the video, with all the lights set up. In terms of cameras, we used two of the Sony A7S III's. One of them was pretty much always sat here on a tripod with a 24mm 1.4 lens on it and it was rigged up with a nice big 7 inch Shinobi screen just so we could monitor our main angle really well. And then Josh was mostly handheld on the second camera with a mixture of 24 to 70 and 16 to 28 to get a bunch of different angles really close up and really wide as well. We got a few gimbal shots with the RS3 but most of the B cam stuff was handheld. In terms of actually filming this video, all the audio had already been recorded, the track was fully produced already. And so we just used a Bluetooth speaker to blast out the music and then Phil played along to the track over and over, like probably 10 to 15 times while we got all the different angles and different sections for the video. The idea is that afterwards, Josh can stick all the takes into his timeline, sync them all up using the audio and just go through and choose which take to show at which point in the song. We filmed the whole thing in about four hours with a bunch of setup either end, but it was a pretty smooth shoot. The hard bit on this kind of project is really the editing afterwards to make sure all the finger movements and playing on the guitar line up exactly with what you hear in the track. But that's Josh's job, so we'll figure out how that all turns out in the final video. Hopefully this has been a helpful little insight. I'm hoping to do more of these kind of things and bring you behind the scenes on some of the video jobs that I do. I've learned so much from just watching these kind of videos online. So I'm just trying to give back in some way and hopefully this has been helpful for someone. Let me know down below if there are any questions at all, but otherwise have a great day and I'll see you soon.